Okay, so I didn't see many videos on YouTube on the, this particular fuse location for this kind of microwave. The top half of my uh, microwave oven combo was not getting power. Uh, my wife had cut off the treadmill and then went to heat something up. And I think when she touched the um, door, it, it just sent, you know, blew the fuse. So a lot of static electricity this time of year, but it's also older, so maybe it just went bad. This video will show you how to find it and, and replace it. This manual is useless. Um, it just shows you how to operate the thing. There's no installation or, or repair information. This is the model. Ours was assembled in 2013. It's a GE Profile PT970SR3 stainless steel model. Um, inside the electrical uh, circuit board, if you take that down, you'll see this taped inside. This just confirms the fuse type that you need, but you don't necessarily have to do that to, to repair this. You can just compare the old fuse. These are the tools I have, a quarter inch hex nut driver, a Torx, uh, I think it's a Torx 15 and a Torx 20, a cup to hold some screws and um, something to test my fuse with, just to confirm that's what's wrong. Uh, I took a picture of my other nut driver. This is the, hand, the green handle one is the one I prefer to use. It actually moves a little bit faster than what's necessary, although you'll see in the video that I did use the ratchet because it was the closest thing to my hand, I guess. Before you get started, don't be a dummy. Cut the power off. Can't stress enough how important that is when dealing with something like this. It's hardwired into the um, back of the wall there. To remove the to to get started, you want to open the microwave door. Um, you want to open the oven door too. And I'll show you why in a second. Or take the oven door off. It's pretty simple. But to get started, we're going to take two um, Torx screws off the top. Those are the only two. One I already started right uh, there. Those are the two at the top for the top half of the trim piece. It's one big piece that goes all the way around. Um, and oh, this is showing the location of the Torx. If you do want to take the bat the electrical panel down and look at it, make sure nothing's loose. But uh, like I said, the literature literature was inside there. Um, this is showing you also the piece of trim. These are quarter inch hex screws. They're they're black. I think there's three of them under there to take that off. Um, they're just hard to find and they're small, so you know, make sure you don't lose them. But once you get all the screws off, I think it's two at the top, three at the bottom, so it's five total screws to get this trim piece off. You'll be able to access most of the things you need to get to to start really getting um, into this repair. The whole repair probably took me about 30 minutes. This is what it looks like with no trim. You can see it's on a track system and it's plugged in the microwave. Um, all power comes from the bottom, from the oven side. Uh, there I am using the ratchet to remove the screws so that I can slide this track out. This is heavy. Um, you're going to want to probably get somebody to help you, but before you move it, remove it, unplug it. You'll want to unplug these power wires. Again, make sure the power is already off. I'm touching this stuff. Now you got it off. Now it'll slide out nice and easy. Uh, but uh, don't let this fool you. There's a tab on the tracks when you slide it out, and if it gets caught before you lift it up to move it out, then you'll be sitting there forever. So make sure you lift it up correctly at the right moment. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about if you look underneath there. And those tabs in reverse order, you'll have to bend them back to get them in. Uh, this is just showing the air duct stuff so you need to remove real quick and easy quarter inch hex drive. Uh, then take the side panel off. That's some Phillips screwdriver work too as well. Don't forget to use that tool. Here's the location of the fuse. It's way back. Typically they're in the front of the microwave. This one's way tucked in the back corner. And there it is. To get to it, you can also take a couple, there it is, the old one, I removed it, that's what it looks like. Um, you can remove a couple screws on the back. Don't crease it, but you can just lift it up and it's a little bit easier um, from the top to take, take, take the back corner top off uh, to get to the fuse. Here I am testing the resistance of the fuse. Um, that's like the horseshoe setting, as it's called many times on YouTube, on your uh, electrical equipment here. Anyways, uh, I did confirm it's correct fuse. It matches the same rating, um, 250 volt, 20 amp fuse. Everything goes back in the way it came. Um, like I said, you want to get those tabs, but you get it working. Uh, and the top and bottom half again have power. We're good to go. No issues. Works like a champ. Hope this video helps you. Um, I, I didn't find anything else, so it helped me to make one, I guess, for the next time I have to do this. Good luck.